Today you'll see why 100% of saltwater tanks and the fish and coral themselves will benefit from a real-time monitor, why most of the reef tanks and their owners will benefit from remote control of their tanks, and why full automation and redundant fail-safe environmental controls might just be the thing that helps you find a healthy reef tank life balance. Environmental monitoring and control is all about the longevity of the tank and protecting the fish and coral from tank crashes. And right behind that, let's make reefing easier and more fun because easy means I'll do it. Each of the three Apex models approaches these goals differently. The Apex Junior is a standalone environmental monitor that tracks water level, chemistry, leaks, temperature, and power with real-time notifications when something's going catastrophically wrong with our tanks. Would you want to know if the tank's temperature was 85 and rising, 75 and falling, a pH of 8.5 or 7.4, my sump is running dry, my return pump stopped pumping water, ATO empty, water's filling my stand or on the floor, or the power's out and the entire system's down? 100 out of 100 reefers just said yes. These things happen to us all, often multiple times, and the fish and coral would certainly like us to know as soon as possible. That's the value of a real-time monitor like the Apex Junior. We get past the necessity that we're home, awake, or happen to stumble upon these problems. Instead, local, audible alarms and real-time notifications, regardless of where I am, via text, email, or push notifications on my phone. 90% of the time, we're all within an hour of our tanks, and we can take care of it quickly once we know. The Junior also gives you access to the Apex Fusion app with features like a place to enter your test kit parameters to track and graph trends as well as schedule maintenance so we don't forget about it. The Junior is effortless to install and set up. If you can enter your name, email, and follow a couple of prompts, it's done. That's the Junior. Note, however, the Junior is future-proof and it isn't a forever decision because it's fully upgradable to an Apex environmental controller with redundancy fail-safes or even upgradable to the Apex Pro. What about the Apex controller? Who is this for? The main addition here is a smart power bar we plug our gear and environmental controls into. There are three control options, remote control, automated control, or redundant fail-safes. First, if the temperature alarm goes off, do you have a lifestyle or career that allows you to just drop what you're doing, go home, and unplug the offending heater, or would you like remote control? I mean, I can just toggle the heater off from wherever I happen to be at the moment, potentially toggle the backup heater back on, and then deal with it when I get home. I think a lot of us likely fall into this category. I am my tank's backup controller, but I can do it remotely, timely, and easily. However, there's also what controllers are best known for, which is automated control. I Meaning rather than manually toggle off that heater, the Apex just recognizes that the temp is higher than it should be, turns off the heater and other offending gear, and then notifies you that you should look into it when you get home. This is the part that most reefers miss. What you're really implementing in this case is redundant, fail-safe environmental controls, meaning our heaters, chillers, lights, pumps, and all the other gear have their own low-cost environmental controllers designed to turn them on and off as needed to support the fishing coral in the tank. It looks like that box on your heater, the control box on your pump, lights, timers, and everything else on the tank. However, trusting that 50-cent thermostat and controller on our $30 heaters has a poor outcome for the fishing coral. A when, not if gamble. Redundant automated controls works with a controller like an Apex serving as the primary command center, turning the reef support gear on and off to maintain our desired environmental parameters. The secondary controller, such as the heater's own controller, serves as a secondary backup. The gear only turns on and off when the Apex and the heater's other own controller agree with each other. If either fails, a heater will not turn on and nuke the tank. It will then, of course, tell you that this has happened so something can be done about it that's environmental redundancy and the best path available. The smart power bar also enables more advanced monitoring by monitoring power consumption as a precursor to problems, immediate notification of when equipment that should or shouldn't be on is. The Apex will detect failing or dirty pumps or other elements of the support system before they actually stop working by detecting lower consumption of power or power irregularities so you can clean them and keep them working a proactive move versus reactive. The Apex controller also comes with an additional port for leak, flow, and water level sensors, an IO switch port for things like toggle switches, push button magnetic switches, or even lock switches that can turn off many elements of the system with a flip of a switch for water changes, automatically turning on the lights when the cabinet opens, or to make other tasks easier. 
The EB832 power bar has eight outlets, but it can also power other optional gear with the three one-link ports for things like the Wave power heads or dose dosing pumps, and two other ports for powering accessories like the PMUP utility pump used for feeding reactors and cleaning the tank. All of the Apex connect via Wi-Fi, but the Apex controller and Pro also have the Ethernet port. The Ethernet port is the only thing the junior monitor doesn't have and not upgradable. So if that kind of direct connection reliability is critical to you, it comes with the Apex controller and Apex Pro only. So what about the Pro? The Pro means I want the most sensors, the most advanced sensors, the most port types, and I want them at a significantly lower cost than buying them all individually at a later date. The Pro has a second BNC port and comes with an ORP sensor for water quality trends or ozone, but can also be used for a second pH probe and calcium reactors or dosing redundancy, a salinity port for an optional probe, a total of four of the flow, leak, and water level FMM sensors, and four channels of variable speed, zero to 10 volt to dim lights and ramp pumps with that capability. The Pro also upgrades the included leak sensor to an advanced low maintenance optical version. The Pro's water level sensor upgrades from a single point optical sensor to the new liquid level sensor which measures the actual water level. So not just a notification of if there is a problem, but the severity of the problem and how fast it's happening. All of the units junior to pro can make elements of managing our tank easier as well. That's feed modes, maintenance modes, automated dosing solutions for chemicals with a dose, automated water changes with a dose, automated calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium testing with the Trident, graphs, charts, notifications, and reminders, real-time system performance, and peace of mind. If elements of the environmental reef support are worth buying and installing to begin with, it's worth knowing when they stop working and be real with ourselves about the consequences for the fish and coral when they do fail. This is why 100% of fish and coral will benefit from environmental monitoring, most from remote control, and redundant environmental fail-safes put the tank on an entirely different trajectory. The animals are no longer reliant on just a heater's controller never failing or that we just happen to be standing there when it does.